Well hello everyone and welcome to the Blue Lock Summer Project in which your boy Takeda, through various Blue Lock player based trainings, will help any amateur football player like yourself step their game up to the next level during this summer and be an absolute unit of a Blue Lock player in real life. One thing that is very realistic about Blue Lock is that in order to succeed you'd have to shine the most in the field through a particular important weapon, to show unparalleled superiority in that particular weapon. And today, starting with possibly the most important training, helping you get the greatest touch inside the field, the Nagi Training Part 1. Enjoy! Okay, so, starting with, uh, you're gonna have to warm up a bit, of course, with uh, about four or five laps around the field. So the first exercise is going to be uh, for 10 reps, and uh, three sets and it's going to be the same for all exercises first one is going to be kick up and then thigh but this exercise actually serves it's not just your control over the ball but how you kick it every time and where it goes you have to have mastery over complete mastery over the ball you know even when you juggle so you know exactly when you juggle where it's gonna go and where it's gonna land and that is going to help you a lot with your ball control, okay? One, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, Instead of doing some freestyle shit, if you want to go pro, this is what you actually have to train. It is much more impressive than stuff like this. Okay, so next leg again, one, two, 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 one, two. So this is actually the difference between amateurs and pros, is that pros can do simple things very, very consistently and very perfectly every single time and even under pressure um anyway one two one two one two one for the, the last exercise it's just going to be a mix of all of these and uh, trying to control the ball however you want you know just improving your relationship with the ball and you can make it hard on yourself obviously chest control and then maybe outside of the foot again again and again Here we go. You know, is there anything really better than this? Just you and the ball early in the morning. Nobody here in the field. Fresh air. Oh my god. And beautiful controls. Oh my god. Life does not get any better than this. Absolutely. Okay, that was pathetic, but okay. So we finished in the field and uh, this is actually the most important and interesting part of the training. Uh, you are going to have a new best friend alongside the ball and uh, I will show it to you right now. The wall. Literally pick any wall you want, get your best friend which is the ball and get your other best friend which is the wall and then go ham with it for a month and you will see insane improvement dude insane improvement in such a small surprisingly small amount of time now don't get me wrong the first training exercises are pretty good on their own but this is what's going to make you go to the next level and be a genius like now anyway so we're going to start with some isolated trainings and uh, with that we're going to do the front of the foot and inside of the foot alone for 10 reps uh, two touches to three touches maximum and this is going to look like this 
Same thing for the second exercise inside of the foot. Okay? One, two. by the end. So 10 reps of this. That way you can see that the video is pretty realistic. I'm not that good yet, but I will be. I will be the god of control or the king of control. Anyway, so uh, okay. So that was our true trainings and you can adapt to, I'd say maybe three to five sets depending on your level, okay? And uh, after each training session, you're going to see if you can uh, move a little further to the wall or not. For the third one, you're definitely going to go a little further than before. So we're gonna be going here, over here. Let's see if we can push the camera over here. This time we're at about three to four meters, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, probably. So uh, yeah, four, four meters at least. And we're gonna do two to three touches and however you control it. and you do that for actually as much as you can it doesn't matter two sets three sets five sets this is the end of the training you go ham with it and you know as long as you have your earpods on you are with your ball or you join yourself you're gonna you're gonna have to make sure that uh, you don't go doing too much because you're not gonna feel very tired even though you absolutely destroyed your body. This is actually, it can be pretty dangerous for a, as a training because you have your earpods on, you got some uh, blue lock funk going on, you know. You're in the zone, you're enjoying yourself. You're gonna see, this is some absolutely amazing shit. So, uh, yeah, be careful not to uh, go for two hours or three hours with it. Although, I'm, I'm literally doing a challenge where I'm doing this for a whole fucking day and uh, well about I think seven hours uh, in uh, a total <laughs> in order to see if I can be like Nagi in one day. So uh, this video will drop after this one, maybe I think, yeah Monday, I will drop it Monday and uh, yeah. This was the first video of uh, my Blue Lock project, summer project. Uh, more trainings will come and I hope you're going to try this with me and uh, try to be an amazing Blue Lock pro motherfucker. And uh, yeah, let's do this thing together. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the training and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.